the new channel. The new channel. Hashtag TNC now. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel, Our Passion Transforms, a community that sees all things new. I am Nato Agbayani and I'm streaming live from Quezon City. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, all our viewers. Welcome to Para Sa Bayan. <music> Welcome back. You're still watching Para Sabayan here on the new channel. So tonight we celebrate, of course, this is October 1. This is Teachers Month. So uh, we have, uh, we're doing a series on educators and of course uh, the educational uh, education sector. So tonight we have uh, our guest. He's, he's my boss, my friend, and also my idol. He is Dean Henry Tinedero, and he's the Dean of Life Skills Program at the St. Clair Cal uh, College and the President of One Shared World Philippines. He is Chairman of the UST Alumni Association, of course, a fellow Tomasian. No? He served as President of the Philippine Marketing Association in 2015, where I was an active member and now also uh, uh, going active again. Uh, he is a product of USD, the Asian Institute of Management, and Harvard University uh, Multiple Intelligences. He is also an original member of the Go Negosho Angelpreneur. So, without any further ado, let's welcome Dean Sir Henry Soleta Tenedero. Hello, good, good evening, uh, good morning, good afternoon, Nato. So nice to see you. Thank you very much yes. for this wonderful opportunity. So happy to see Nako. you. Thank you, Sir Henry, for joining us. It's really, alam mo naman, this is a National Teachers Month, no? And then a lot of, a lot of schools will celebrate, will celebrate their, uh, of course, their teachers. They will be, ano, commemorating the entire, ano, ano, uh, education uh, sector will be really busy. So, um, let me. Let me siguro start by asking you, Sir Henry, how did you start uh, becoming a, an educator? Kasi ako, I, I know you as uh, uh, the president of PMA when, when we were very active, no, when I was still chief operating officer of uh, Globaltronics. Now, um, ngayon, like, how did you start as an educator? From well, the very beginning. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ma mahabang story, yeah, no? It's a... It's a it's uh, if you believe in divine intervention, then that's it. I, I was never trained to become an educator. I did not take up an education course. Um, I took up AB Commerce, and then uh, I was a problematic student. Mm -hmm. uh, to top it all, anyway, a lot of people know already. Some of those who already have listened to me, I was a kick out in high school and a wow. constant flanker in college so when i found my calling 
later on in my life, I have been in the field of education for more than, I think, uh, half my life has been mm-hmm. in education, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. So I think uh, in in some sense, so my being a kick out has led me to love education. Because I did not get kicked out not because I was less intelligent than the others. Okay? Uh, I strongly believe that uh, we have kanya-kanya tayong may talino, yung multiple intelligences nga na eh. Yung Howard right, Gardner right. and Harvard. So, nakita ko lang na siguro yung akin talino ay hindi yung the usual, the two domains, yung linguistic and mat- logical mathematics. Uh, so, y- yun ang aking, I think, uh, crucial entry point sa education. I was a victim mm-hmm. of traditional education. Okay? Where the highlight has always been focused on the prominence of very few in the class. They become the honor students. But later on, I observed that those who really succeed in life were those who had academic problems. And in a larger perspective, yung ating pinakamayaman, si Bill Gates, no? Drop out siya ng Harvard University. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, and we know a lot of people who are now hoarding in the pinnacle of success who did not fare well in the field of education. And we have a lot of young people in our midst who may be struggling in the world of academics but are definitely doing well in practical sense, straight smart. So, ayun ang aking, I think, uh, the pivotal point on how I became and na napamahal sa edukasyon na to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, given given that ba no, I'm siguro all of us have that uh, certain kasi ang frame siguro parang ang regular frame ng mga tao is if you're good in academics then uh, it, it is equivalent to being successful in life. And we all know that's that's not uh, that's not the case. In fact, I think I, I can remember sa TED Talks, no? they did the research, a very uh, long research, and it seems that the factors for success, one of them is uh, grit. Correct. <laughs> grit, kasi sometimes people don't really um, excel in certain subjects. No? For example, ako, um, Sir Henry, ano ako, I'm a... Lagi akong bumab- magfe-fail sa math, I remember. In high school, and even when I was in UST already, I failed in algebra. But I realized, sabi ko, I don't think, ano, no, uh, maybe it is, the, it, is, it is the attitude that I had at that time. Anyway, moving forward yeah. with what you were saying. So, you, you, you speak about transformative education. What is transformative education in your opinion, Sir Henry? Well, essentially, when we talk about transformative education, it springs from the fact that, uh, una-una, no, just a brief background there, bakit ba tayo nagka-pandemia? Kasi at some point, yung Industry 4.0 na sinasabi natin, kinakala natin tayo may ari ng kamunduhan, no? Uh, only to realize that there's such a thing as law of karma, nabalikan tayo because we we went to too fast technologically kaya hindi na kaya na ng ating uh, uh, kalikasan nagboomerang siya nagkaroon tayo ng pandemya so ang kagandahan ngayon from industry 4.0 we are now moving to education 5.0 which is essentially transforming education in the age of technology the key word, I think, that would fit transformative ed- uh, education is we are rehumanizing. Because for a long while, we have been performing as human doings, no longer as human beings. Kaya yung rat race competition, naging terrible. Okay? So I think the pandemic has taught us to value things that are not necessarily related to something that is material in character. So transformative education, if I may uh, briefly define it, it's, I think, uh, nurturing the compassionate heart, not only the thinking mind, which is IQ. It is developing essential skills, not only academic skills. Nabanggit mo kanina yung the word grit, 
tama, before the pandemic, the way we define success and power is they're only anchored on two domains, IQ, talino, EQ, and puso. But the pandemic has taught us to embrace the importance of what we call DQ, discarte, or grit. So nakita natin yan na we have seen a lot of OFW ni Macales because of the uh, pandemic, uh, lockdowns. So they had to, 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 to survive, not even thrive. That's, so they, they had to pivot. Nalaman nila marunong sila magluto and many of them are not successful MSMEs. Marami dyan successful na online sellers. So in some sense, uh, transformative trans Transformative education is a product of a breakdown because any breakthrough to happen has to be preceded by a breakdown. So nagkaroon tayo ng breakdown, kaya ngayon ang education has been finding its ways kung paano natin kakalibrate na wala ang face-to-face -face learning but we uh, nagkaroon naman tayo ng home-to-home -home heart learning. E ngayon, we're going back to face-to-face, -to -face, kaya lang calibrated because of the uh, pandemic uh, situation. So, hinay-hinay. So, sinasabi natin na ako naniniwala ko na online learning, hindi lang dapat siya na high-tech. Kailangan yan din ay high-touch. So, ganun din ang education. Education, akala natin grades will define your success. No. Grades are only numbers. They will not define your character as a human person. Uh, you, you, you come from a so-called prestigious private school. No. Uh, what will truly define the person is his transformative character. So, balik tayo sa character. And uh, just briefly lang, uh, who we are is what we do. Okay? I've known you Nato for quite a while. Consistent character ka. Because... That's who you are. And who you are, who we are is a product of five things. Paano tayo pinalaki ng magulang, parents, ng ating education, ng ating religion, ng ating pakikipaghalubilo sa iba, at yung our own way of, of, of living our daily life. So, dyan na nag-aangkla. It's not the grades. It is not the diploma. It is not uh, education. It's not about memorization. It's about comprehension. Correct? So... Parang, ano lang, parang uh, high palutin lang yung katagang transformative. But it's essentially, sa aking uh, pananaw, nurturing your compassionate heart more than just your thinking mind. Because there are things in life that we realize here in the pandemic that cannot be explained. But uh, in fact, uh, maraming umingay, no? Uh, sabi ko, well, I think uh, at, at some point in our lives, uh, I, I began to appreciate that the voice of silence is even louder than the voice of an empty talk. So, oh. kaya lang, dahil maraming marites, kailangan may meron kang palaging masabi, you want to say something, you know, may palagi may issue, may issue ka rin. No, sometimes hmm. silence and solitude will allow you to go deeper into your being to appreciate that you are not a human doing, but you are a human being. Yes, yeah. I, alam mo, Sir Henry, Parang I'm I'm uh, I'm afraid that uh, well education is being affected by social media no in in a lot of ways so people's attention spans are getting shorter at the same time um, yung content na lumalabas sa uh, for example uh, hindi ko na sabihin yung mga social media applications yung mga may uh, psychology says <laughs> psychology fact ay uh, mga ganyan tapos um, Parang as if it was a uh, gospel truth, no? And yet, the, the, the consumers of these are people who are 15, 16, 17, 18, and short messages that are being embedded into, into their minds. And alam naman natin na hindi naman ito fact. So, yeah, how, do you, how do you manage that? Well, that's very true. But again, we go back to life, no? We go back to the psychology yes. of life. There are many things in life that we learned, not through the books, mm -hmm. but through living life itself. Okay? Yeah. Ako marami ako natutunan sa, sa buhay, uh, tumanda na ako ganito. Hindi ko may relate sa academic learning lang. It helped me 
the discipline, the rigors of studying, etc. But the real application, because I think uh, the principles of learning I'm always following are three things. Number one, alamin mo yung dapat mong alamin. That's knowledge. Mm -hmm. But yes. after acquiring knowledge, you have to put it to life. Isa buhay mo, isa puso mo muna, and then isa buhay mo. Put it to life. And the highest form of living is in the, on the third, giving. So that is to me the cycle of a truly learned person because an educated person is not exactly a learned person. You are educated from the best school. But if your behavior is max nothing of a of an ed, an educated person then you are not learned in real life maraming hindi nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral sa buong mundo pero ang gagalang nila o o po right. ang gagalang uh, matuwid ang buhay and yet we know for a fact that marami ring mga dititulado may masters na may doctoral pa etc cetera, etc cetera, na hindi Maganda ang kanilang pamumuhay. I'm not judging, but these are realities. I know of people mm -hmm. na would always go to school, study more, study more, study more. Sabi ko, punong-puno na yung, ano mo, yung uh, pangalan mo ng mga post uh, titles. Handa ka na ba pag dumating yung huling titulo mo, yung RIP? So what will be your legacy in real life? Right. So, <laughs> ayun ang ating pangalagaan ngayon, no? So, pasensya ka na nato dahil pag umiidad ka, ito na yung pananaw mo sa buhay. Ito na yung pananaw yes, mo sa that's buhay. Right, that's right. We are not working within the realm of intelligence nor knowledge alone, but we are already imparting wisdom. Nasa wisdom True. point na tayo at continuous yan, continuous ang learning natin. So, yun ang ating yeah. dapat na dinalamit, dinalaliman lang natin kasi kailangan because of the ongoing Ayoko yung fault blaming eh. Kasi wala naman taong perfecto. We, right. As human beings, we create mistakes. But take note of this. Mistakes are what we do because we're human beings. But mistakes do not define who we are. Correct? So sinasabi natin, the more mistakes, the more you learn from your mistakes, the more you become a strong person. It develops your character. So character right, is right. built beautiful destinations, sabi nga, are full of obstacles. And those obstacles, when put to heart and put to meaning, will make you a beautiful person inside and out. Hindi ka lang IQ, hindi may, may IQ ka pa, at marunong ka pa dumiskarte. Yan. Hmm. Yeah. Kasi, parang ngayon, ano, looking at the educational system, for example, I, I, I will just put it uh, in the context of the 27 million or so learners in elementary and then of course there's high school and then there's uh, the higher education and it, it seems that uh, there's so much responsibility on the mentors now kasi di ba sir henry parang uh, the students will follow the students will emulate their teachers or their professors and ako for example uh I recall, I recall four specific uh, high school teachers that I, 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 I remember well and what they said. So, for example, in high school, first year high school, I'm a medyo science freak ako nung high school. Eh. So, um, I remember the, wor the words that um, energy is neither transformed nor, uh, energy is neither destroyed nor created, only transformed. And then uh, in physics, my teacher naman in social studies said, ang kasaysayan ay ang susi sa kinabukasan. Hindi ko makakalimutan yung mga words na ganun eh. Okay. Tapos, um, I remember <laughs> sa physics naman, Sir Henry, yung acceleration due to gravity. Yan, yung mga uh, things that you can't forget. And then, of course, I, I had this very interesting teacher in high school who was really very positive and encouraging and everybody loved her no oh, she passed na a few years back but uh you know those things those things really are embedded in your in your psyche eh? it, it, it doesn't it doesn't leave you so like how, when i high school ilang taon ako noon sir henry imagine mo. now i still remember very vividly so yeah. i think that the responsibility is so much on on uh, on us. See, si Professor Liling was, was was my professor also in 
uh, in public ad in NCPAG no so parang insan ni sito yeah. ang hirap siguro maging li, uh, head ng DepEd or maging head ng uh, CHED or even a dean <laughs> in St. Clair diba you're, you're responsible for really molding so many young minds and yes. given the the competition we're getting from social media and the content is really not good uh, so, I'd be so, very diba yeah. paano ng gagawin natin sir henry <laughs> so we As go mentor, back to the page. yeah so I, I go back to my previous statement that what you do is who you are so kung ano yung pagkatao mo dala mo yan sa trabaho so that's the essence of authenticity so like in my case briefly lang 95 percent of our students are coming from the two most marginalized barangay communities in the whole philippines the whole philippines okay check it out bagong silang at kamarin bukid area yan our students cannot afford to go to what we call the big schools but if you search their hearts they have the same aspirations as those living in plush subdivisions so what will not what will encourage them to believe that hindi yung status mo sa buhay ang dapat maging balakid para ikaw ay umulad sa buhay it's your mindset it's your the values that you that you that you generate through life and we, we know for a fact na kapag tayo ay nakaranas ng hirap sa negosyo mamahalin natin yung negosyo dahil pinaghirapan natin yan but True. anything that is handed over uh, sa silver platter <laughs> ang impact niya ng kakaunti. So, ganun din ang education. So, we remember most not what was taught to us, but how we were treated by some of our teachers. Gaya ng sinabi mo kanina, you cannot remember these four people who gave you beautiful catchphrases because of their personality then. Kaya ngayon, you can still remember what your physics teacher, your history teacher told you, because it it rang aligned with your own personal values as you went through life okay mm-hmm. remember our dean sa abc dean villaba di ba of course so, <laughs> dean villaba is now 90 plus years old but if you look at her physically she still carry that carries that regal the voice the elegance <laughs> the, the grace look, the grace yeah. no uh, pero ulyan nila siya pero despite that ando pa rin yung kanyang ando pa rin yung kanyang karakter so uh, character makes a man as I would always uh, tell my son uh, na, you know this is a very big school international school but remember mm-hmm. your grades will not define you your school is only but a name but what will truly define you is your character that is not perfect you will commit mm-hmm. a lot of mistakes, but mistakes mm-hmm. are what you do and do that they do not define who you are. Mistakes develop the crucible of fire in us to continue living, not only living, you know, uh, because maraming taong buhay na mukhang patay. You know? uh, kailangan buhay ka para makipag- makapagbigay buhay ka sa buhay ng iba. Maging sino ka man, huwag mong gawing kahirapan para hindi uh, isang malaking dahilan para hindi mo yakapin na tinatawag ng transformative education. Transformative education is values. It's uh, the fundamental essence of life, the anchoring, the human soul, the human spirit. That what we are saying. Be a how-to-be person, not only a how-to-do person. A how-to-be is character. A how-to-do is about you know, para kang robot. So, ayun lang naman ang ating discussion. We can only motivate them so much. But the rest will be, of course, and na yung fate dimension, and na yung yeah. oxygente will be exposed to many kinds of thinking, many kinds of persuasions. Eventually, as they grow older, they get to find that their own niche in life, and that will define the kind of future life that they will have in life. That's how I got to know. So, kung hindi, kung, kung hindi siguro ako naging kick out, I will still be basking in the glory of stock exchange in the U.S., which I did yeah. after college, you know. But then again, yeah. I realized that uh, a beautiful house 
na hindi naman tahanan ay hindi maganda na mamahaling higaan na hindi masarap ang tulugan, tulugan hindi rin maganda so you now define the the real essence the real meaning of success through transformative education yeah i really appreciate that ano sir henry kasi um sometimes we define uh, like how do we how do we build a nation with uh, transformative education or when when i talk to the people in government about education it's really it's really ang hirap because uh, limited the resources there's so many people and then uh, you have the entire bureaucracy and you have to retool them things like that no pero tama ka at the end of the day it is the character of the person so ang fear ko lang sir henry is the the barrage of uh, information that uh, is available now information and misinformation that's really available now to everybody to anyone and uh parang wala nang distinction what what is the truth or what is fact and what is fiction diba para ang hirap din because you want to you want to uh, paano ba yon meron kang intervention na kailangan gawin sa mga bata no? i mean here at home uh, sometimes syempre they have their own opinions but um you also stand by certain opinions no and you know it, it's like yeah. that i suppose because uh, yeah. young children grow up but at the end of the day ang problem ko sir henry is kung ang ang goal natin is to build the country and yet internally uh, available yung fiction there's so much uh, misinformation um how can we combat that <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah. with transformative education in the context of what you're saying. So I, I suppose is, it, takes, uh, it takes a whole community to raise a child. Tama? Precisely. You know, that's given. Bakit tayo pumunta dyan? Alam mo, di ba, Education 4.0, sabi nga, nagsimula. Yes. Uh, 1.0 is analog. Okay? And then uh, one uh, 2.0 is we digitized learning. Okay? Right. You know, e-book, etc. And then 3.0 is uh, what you call uh, ito, digitalization. Na. Mm-hmm. Kaya meron tayo blended learning, etc. So, hindi siya nagtugma sa takbo ng industriya. Kaya biglang bumulusok. Bumulusok bigla na nature found its way na ito talagang media nagamit ng gusto at lahat pero that's the beauty of living sinasabi nga ng isang Nobel Prize na theory of dissipated structure that any breakthrough has to be preceded by a breakdown okay mm-hmm. the pandemic is a breakdown so it's all up to us to navigate on how to make this breakdown into breakthrough. So, are we going to amplify this social media thing? Itong mga ano? Let's, let's find it. So, sabi nga, bago mo lutasin ang problema ng mundo o ng ating bayan, sarili mo muna ang baguhin mo. I-transform mo muna sarili mo. Okay? Na hap-hap ka na mag-comment sa isang issue. <laughs> kailangan, kailangan ka ba mag-comment ka agad? Hindi ba merong restraint? Hindi ba, hindi ba merong katahimikan muna para sigurado ka? So, it, it, it begins with those little things. And I'm certain that if we develop a tipping point, a collective mass, and it, has, it will reach a particular tipping point, then kita mo. Yan ang mong sa buhay eh. Diba? Yeah. Kasi kung perfect na, pwede tayo mamatay. Kasi perfect na eh. So, kinahaman tayo ng pagkakas, kinahaman tayo ng Panginoon na ilagay tayo sa sitwasyon para tingnan kung gano'n ba katibay yung pananampalataya mo. No? Gano'n ba katibay yung paniniwala mo na kailangan magmahala ng bawat isa. So, how do you do that in education? Okay, talagang babatikusin ka because they're coming up from their own. So, we have to look at things as they are, not as we are. Okay, mm-hmm. because... If you insist on doing things as you are, they're subjective. Ka na eh. 
Okay? Right. And why do people is just doing that? Because of self-pride. No? Mm-hmm. Dito ako galing, galing pa ako sa states na nag-aral pa ako, galing pa ako ng Europe, etc. And then you will question the veracity of my thinking? Mali na yun. <laughs> so there's an aspect right. of humility. So, so you go back to character. Na mahirap yeah. gawin if you are not coming from a family, education, religion, background, na nanurture ka. Oo. Na you ka. Okay. Nako. Sir Henry, napaka-interesting na ating discussion. But meantime, we will go into a short break and then we will come back uh, and uh, we will have deeper discussions on what Sir Henry was uh, uh, talking about earlier about transformative education and the different aspects of uh, the education sector. So, viewers, uh, we'll be right back. We'll just have to uh, break. See you later, Sir Henry. See you. Juan Lu and his puppets face to face with special guests Makata Tawanan, Jess Box, and the Lunaria Marionette Show. Salita. Alam mo tito ano kung nala ako? Magsasalita ka ng isa. <laughs> kung wala ako, wala kang masusuot. Kung wala ako, wala kang nakakain. <laughs> November 13, Sunday, 7 p.m. At the La Verdad Auditorium in Apalit, Pampanga. Buy your tickets now and see you soon. Face to face.
Welcome back to Para Sabayan. You're still watching Para Sabayan uh, right now. But don't forget to watch also our different shows here on TNC. So the new channel is an online alternative new media platform of online shows for people on the go. Please watch all our shows as seen on screen. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we make it easier for you. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging authentic and original content. Our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, and uh, cultural intelligence and ingenuity. Of course, you can watch uh, live or replay via Facebook or YouTube. Follow us on IG and, of course, Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Just search TNC now. And then for sponsorships, please email now at thenewchannel.com or send us a DM. Enjoy these life-changing shows because we made them uh, specially for you. So you're still here on Para Sabayan. So we welcome back our special guest, um, Dean Henry Tenedero. Thank you. Welcome back, Sir Henry. Yes, yeah, same here. Thank you, uh -huh. thank you, thank you, Nato. Grabe, our internet is really, ano, no? medyo yung internet ko mabagal. So, uh, I think it's it's been happening for so many days. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi lang ikaw but, uh, lahat. Well, uh, oo <laughs> nga eh. So, anyway, we go back to uh, earlier when we were talking about transformative education. It's really parang sinasabi mo, Sir Henry. It's humanizing education. Uh, I remember, I think we were in that generation na ano, Uso pa yung physical punishment nung grade school. Yung pinapalo ng rule. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, Paluluhurin sa monggo. <laughs> so, yung mga ganun, ano, Sir Henry. Kasi we, yes. we grew up uh, we grew up in Cubao, so we were in a public school in elementary. And then saka lang kami nag-private school nung high school uh, in Claret. So very different, very different. All eight of us had the same grade one teacher. And ano, ano yun, infamous. <laughs> Famous and infamous because she was really ano, a disciplinarian. But, uh, you know, come to think of it, uh, discipline has its way of, ano, you know, parang ingraining that, uh, that uh, value to you no? as, as, as a young person. But, uh, of course, these days it's different because you cannot do that. But how do you, I mean, ako, like now I talk to my kids, but before like physical punishment, even with our parents was, was, was like a, a norm. Um, well, not all parents naman. Pero now it's really, you know, you have to talk to your kids and uh, even, even students or even your, um, how do you do it? Like St. Clair, for example, you have students from grade school? Yeah, it's a, a complete all all levels. All yeah. levels. Wow. Yeah. How do you manage so, that, sir? You can sir imagine. Henry. You can imagine. I develop a program called Life Skills for Life Success. So mm -hmm. last year, it's um, exclusive for a particular year level because we're still trying out, no? A until piloting. I suggested piloting. Until I suggested yeah. that for this year we do a massive, meaning whole school. So, I, I told the, the management that, uh, well, I, I think I can handle all, but it would be nice to integrate what is life skills into the curriculum and academic area considerations. You know why? Because I think life skills is so beautiful that even if you're teaching, say, PE, you're teaching uh, tourism, hospitality management, BA, political science, computer science, if you inject the essence of life skills, then you are humanizing. So we are not humanizing. It's already there. It's already humanized. Kaya lang, we have to jumpstart again to reboot, to rehumanize, mm -hmm. and see the importance of parents not only talking to their children, but really communicating. Because talking and talking will not mean to anything unless what you are saying penetrates the deepest recesses of the human person. So I told them last year, 
life skills is non graded so you have the option not to attend you know parang sila psychologize mo but what you will learn here are five categories that if you put to life okay then you can uh, truly appreciate and embrace the fullness of life Kasi yung limang kategory na yon gaya ng uh, unang-una. Parang yung, uh, five pillars. Uh, the five pillars, no? Uh, is gainful, produ- uh, gainful productivity, purposeful mm-hmm. communication, social interaction, mindful perception. Bawat isang kategory niyan ay meron siyang mga life skills na napun- nakakonek. Because okay. I told them, from my experience now, many employers, when they interview applicants, marami akong kilala na hindi mo na hinihingi ang transcript. Kung hindi ini-engage mo na yung applicante to converse, okay? Usok muna tayo. So ang tanong nun, kung lima kayong applicante applying for only one position, coming from the same course, bakit ikaw pipiliin ko, hindi yung apat? And then, so we give them examples. You know, parang ano yan, eh, parang sa marketing. A chicken is a chicken is a chicken. But what why, what will uh, make me favor your, your chicken compared to the other chicken? Maybe it's no longer a chicken, but it's your 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 demeanor, your your your, your uh, mm-hmm. aesthetics, your packaging, etc. You know? So mm-hmm. when I, I told them, real, real life, so pag ako nag interview pinapopo ko muna. And winawari ko, if the applicant is both respectful, magalang, marunong mga po, at marunong gumalang, then malaki ang punto niya sa akin. And before he leaves, or she or she leaves the office, saka ko hingiin yung transcript. Mm-hmm. And if I find that the grades are not that exactly alluring, I don't care. Because I mm-hmm. hire for attitude. I don't hire only for aptitude. Because skills can be Googleable, skills can be learned. You can go to Wikipedia and all of these things. But attitude is nurtured from bata ka pa hanggang sa kinalakihan mo na yan. Kaya nga diba bilang magulang, I remember that time when I got kicked out. Hindi ako minura na magulang ko. He has every reason to really make make mura to me. No? I, I, I betrayed the task. Hindi niya ko kinampera sa mga kapatid kong honor students. Magkos tinanggap niya ako. Kaya nga, when I met Howard Gardner, do ko na-appreciate that intelligence is a many splendor thing. Nasamod sa hari pala ang katalinuhan. Na if you're good in math, if you're good in lang, if you're good in sports, or good you're good in arts, it's intelligence, it's ability. Make good use of that and, and later on, monetize mo, you become successful. Okay? So, you don't follow the, the traditional, etc., uh, etc. But more than that, sabi nga na, meron kaming uh, parang tagline. Saying clear, matalino ka na, mabuting tao ka pa. With emphasis <laughs> more, that. mabuting tao ka pa. Because, uh-huh. look, well, to be honest about it, to be frank about it. Akala ko, matalino ka na, maganda ka pa. <laughs> well, bonus na yun. <laughs> bonus <laughs> you know, we have we have uh, a, 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 an intelligent leader, uh, si, si Putin. Mm. Pero is he using his yes. intelligence for the, for the goodness of the humanity? I doubt. Because uh, Adolf Hitler, etc. So we have great leaders who exemplify the intelligence. But the aspect of magiging mabuti o magaling na tao, dun ang tanong. So sabi namin, pag ma- yeah. mabuti tao ka, tatalino ka. Maraming, maraming maniniwala sa iyo. Hindi dahil sa magaling ang skills mo, pero dahil mabutin tao ka, uh, mapagkakatiwalaan ka. So, yun ang inspire mo. Wag, mo, wag mong ipaglanda ka na tigabagong silang poko, tapo na ng mga resettlement, etc. Hindi, it just so happen. Mangarap ka, nabalang araw, kakaroon ka rin isang magandang tahanan. Hindi lang bahay, isang magandang tahanan. So, you, you bring out their dreams. You, 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 you give them inspiration to believe that it's only the fact na nagkataon lang yung mga mayayaman ay talagang naghirap, no? Talagang galing din sa wala yan. And uh, kaya yun, ganun ka rin, right. hindi ka mamayaman ngayon. Maraming ang kaibigan, that's it. So again, balik tayo, it's transformative education at work. 
in essence, so you do not spell out, hindi theory yan eh, sabi nga sa isang radio, hindi mo minememorize yan, kundi sinasabuhay mo yan. Para makita mo talaga ang tunay na definisyon ng iyong linalakbay na buhay. Okay? So, ako siguro, dito na po <laughs> ihinto bilang isang teacher o bilang isang educator because uh, you, know, you want to have the legacy. And the legacy that we will live here on earth is the kind of light that we live today. You know, yeah. yung sinasabi natin na uh, reputation preceding the name, totoo yan. So, um, may kanya-kanya tayong bansag sa ating mga uh, kaibigan o sa ating mga ginagalawa na, na hindi perfect pero ayan, ma- marunong magbago. At pa magbago, lumalabas talaga yung talagang kadahilan ng right. magbabago. So, yun ang maganda nating isipin na walang taong perfect, walang taong walang leader na mahirap pang, uh, pangasiwaan ng buong bayan ng Pilipinas sa isang barangay, napakahirap niyan. So, Anything you say, right. na sabihin ng tao, isa daw, dami if, if you don't think, no? So, but if you anchor your your position on the fundamental basic truths in life, you will never go wrong. You will never go wrong, right? So, just continue doing that. So, consider a pain as a gain. Consider a cross as a strength. Consider a tombstone as actually a stepping stone. Consider a mess as sending you a message. So, we go back to mindsetting. Okay? Mindset, clear network, and then beautiful life. So, kailangan mo ba pag ng four years? Hindi. Mm-hmm. Family. Balik ka sa family. Yeah. Sa Sir values. Henry. Yes. True. Oh, true. Um, Talking about values, no. I have I have heard of this term. It's called the uh, quiet quitting. What's in, the term uh, again? In workplaces now, apparently, you're coming choppy, Nato. Uh, the term is, oh, oh my. <laughs> it's quiet quitting. Okay. Quiet quitting. Nag-quit sila quietly. Tapos biglang mawawala sa work. And then, wala lang. Hindi na magpapaalam, hindi na mag-resign. Kumbaga, AWOL. And, you know, para bang, is this, how how does this problem arise? I mean, given that, uh, kunyari, they're yeah. also graduates of good schools. And yet, um, there's this pa parang kung bakari for the term uh, sir Henry parang wala consideration sa management or or the 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 company they work for I think I think that stems from somewhere eh. but but do you think that ano parang that can be that can be cured <laughs> oh yeah eventually any any problem naman ay may solution yan we we know that for galing tayo sa mundo ng you know, pipila tayo sa library, wala tayong internet noon, wala tayong cellphone, talagang uh, right. the basics of life, no? Kaya lang in our desire to improve, nag-improve naman tayo. Kaya nga from analog, na digitize, na digitalize, like industry 4.0, eh, nagkataon, wala mga safeguards, kaya rumatsyada na lang ang gusto. Kaya nga ang tawag ngayon, imagine from industry 4.0 to education 5.0, which is essentially re- rehumanizing, okay? Bringing back, going back to the basics of life. So you can just imagine the kind of world we had in 1920, ano, 1919, no, influenza, and then nung panahon right. ng gera, di ba? So how did the people survive and then later on thrive? So we are in that same spectrum. So the, mm-hmm. the pandemic is just an episode for us to look deeper into ourselves. Mm-hmm into our systems, into our culture, into our, our ways of thinking because we are now redefining the very essence of life. The very purposing, uh, we redefine the kind of life, we repurpose the kind of life, and now we, we are reimagining so many beautiful mm-hmm. terms to define the kind of movement that we have. But unless there is the transformative aspect in them, so what is the point of seeing yourself successful when your neighbors have nothing to eat at all? Kasalanan ba nila yun? 
o oh, hindi sila magtrabaho, magtrabaho sila. So, ang sinasabi natin, there's an element of sharing. Sino ba na mayagpag ng panahon na pandemya? Hindi ba mga ordinary yung tao na hindi, na hindi inalintana ang pag, magka, magkaroon ng COVID, magkasakit? Kailangan kasi nila buhay ng kanilang pamilya. Pero yung iba na nakakarangya, andun, nagtago sa bahay. That's their option. Kasi meron silang wherewithal, meron silang mga resources. So, nakita natin, ano yung values connected to the transition? na yung, yung compassion naging naging uh, bukas yung kindness yung respectability etc so ito yung dapat ito yung moral obligation natin sa education na wag sana mawaglit okay so in my own little turf in my own little way i am i am i am preserving that through the program called life skills for life success okay so Y- yun ang ating ano yun ang ating uh, you have to contribute something eh concrete concrete concretely do not add any more to the discussion because the discussion is already full you have to add something a little a little of something that will connect to the bigger something okay mm-hmm. so yun ang gawin natin so what you're doing now with TNC the new channel imagine the name the new channel so what happened to the old channel So it's a, a symbolic way of saying that the youth channel is embracing programs through you the use of digital is di, digital. I don't want to go to your to your studio to be to be live, you know. You can just zoom ang puhunan mo lang, magkaroon ka ng magandang internet, meron kang green light, meron kang uh, camera, meron kang laptop, and then we're on, we're negotiating and we're talking and we're communicating to your to your thousands of uh, viewers. So that's the beauty of online. So, but if you notice, are, are we attacking it to technical? Hindi. We're both high tech and high touch. You know, yan naman ang essence ng sinasabi ko sa mga teacher. Kailangan hindi ka lang magaling sa online. Platform lang yan. Enabler lang yan. Ikaw pa rin ang tunay na guro. Ikaw pa rin ang tunay na magbibigay ng buhay sa buhay ng iyong mag-aaral. You know? So, wag mong, wag mong Sabihin na pag hindi mo gawin yan, nagbabagsak kita. I tell you, maraming bagsak na umahon sa buhay na ngayon, di ba? So, may maraming tayong mga alumni friends na ganyan. Na problemado si Jante nung sila na mag-aaral. Pero later on, nung nag-reunion tayo, sila yung mga mayayama. Pero simpleng buhay, etc. So, yun sana. So, is that an ideal dream? Yeah, it may be ideal, but we have to do something. A, 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 an individual effort leading to a collective effort will create a massive tipping point. Yan. It will define a new generation. It will define a new culture. Okay? Not the concept culture, but it will define yeah. a new conversation, wherein the conversation will not no longer be about me, but about we. It's no longer about profit alone, but it will be people, a planet, and then profit. So, y- yan ang ginagawa natin sa ating, ano, yung pananaw mo. Mahalaga ang profit because you have to, to be sustainable. Pero mas mahalaga yung pakikitungo mo sa iyong mga customers para paniwalaan ka. And then sila, pag makita lang kabutihan mo, sila rin gagaya sa iyo na maging mabuting tao. Hindi lang matalino, hindi lang, hindi lang kundi ano. So, paulit, it's a cycle. Oh, it's a cycle. Sa- yeah. It, we really have to, ano, no, parang... Kasi sabi nga nila yung um, well there's is good there's good and evil in this world no there's 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 good information or good knowledge and there oh, there's also evil <laughs> and evil knowledge no and um, when you talk about the tipping point I think at the end of the day we really need to have uh, good people working on education working on educating the young people our learners in a good way because ano eh, hindi pwedeng we just uh, kumbaga teach them object, well, objectivity dahil ganun talaga, di ba, sa academe, no? They have to be objective, but there, there has to be also critical thinking, but at the end of the day, there are actually biases that we, I don't know, siguro, eh, there are also, bi- kasi meron mga universal moral laws, eh, that you, you know, you cannot simply violate in any religion Uh, for example, yung ano, di ba, Sir Henry, yung uh, you can do anything you want for as long as you don't hurt anybody or you don't 
or you don't um, bring harm to others, di ba? Parang ganon. Parang that's, yes. in a way, it's like academic freedom. No? Pero parang these days, sabi nga nila, sorry if I'm, ano, ha, parang <laughs> I'm a pessimist. Hindi naman siguro pessimist, but I think we really need more good educators like you, um, people who will really transform um, the system. Because we know that the system is is so huge, and the need is so great. And you know, maybe, um, talagang it's really a community that has to do that has to be part of that entire uh, value chain for education. You know, parents. Um, I think it's the crisis all around us that that's really I know that's really that's why we also have that crisis in the education sector. So, siguro at the end of the day, when when people like you, a lot of mentors teach people uh, good things, good values. Um, siguro the the whole sub, the whole value chain will will really uh, improve, no? Uh, or or really grow and. <laughs> Heal <laughs> and heal, maybe. I don't know. Um, Sir Henry, we've come to the last few minutes of our show. Sayang ang iksi na pa na. We, we really want to discuss more, but uh, that's all the time we have. So maybe what I'll ask you now is what do you think, uh, what would be your recommendations to, to our leaders, to our country's leaders in terms of? Uh, um, transformative education, uh, and then what can you tell all our viewers, no, about about uh, your advocacy on trans uh, transformative education before we before we exit <laughs> and yeah. and go later. Sige po, go ahead. Sir. Okay, thank you. First of all, let me uh, make a categorical statement. Yes. Lahat ng tao ay metaglay na henyo. Ang katagang henyo. The word genius is not no longer exclusive for those who are good in mathematics or the English. Every person has genius potential in more ways than one. Yeah. And maybe a clarion call to all our educationists, to all in the field of education and even the allied uh, field professions. Mm -hmm. The clarion call is for us to continue to break down to break down the walls of ignorance, myth, and complacency in our midst. Right. Instead, use our power to build, to build bridges of new hopes and dreams coming to life, and new hopes of thinking, doing, and being. So thinking, rationality, doing, physicality, but being is about character. So thinking, doing, yeah. and being. Yeah. But we can only do that if we continue to break down the walls of ignorance, myth, and complacency and build these new bridges. You don't pay that in clarion call. Yeah. Nato? Okay, you nag naghang ang ating uh, host for this evening. <laughs> Yang po kagandahan technology, no? So despite the the nagkakaroon talaga ng mga hitches. So that should that stop the world from moving? All the more we should move with splendor and vigor. So it's just a matter of uh, adjusting. So this is a classic example of what we have now in our society. Problems are, are really floating left and right. But if you focus on the problems, why not reverse the definition of problems? P-R-O-B-L-E-M-S. Problems to mean instead as purposeful, purposeful roadblocks offering beneficial lessons to enhance our mental strength. So what used to be a problem is now an area of possibility what you see as a tombstone is actually a beautiful stepping stone what you're going through in life that you think is a mess is actually sending you a message and believe yeah. that for every pain 
there is an equivalent gain. For every loss, there is an equivalent win. That for every suffering, it makes you a stronger person. That you can make a difference in the life, lives of hey, other people. Sir Henry. Okay, you're back. Oh. Very good. So. <laughs> and then, sinabi mo, Sir Henry, naririnig ko, kaya lang... <laughs> Sorry, I had to hop in. Ha, kasi yung internet ko, eh. parang pinipigilan. Uh-oh. Anyway, we'd like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Also, we'd like to acknowledge some of our um, uh, viewers. Si Cho Lita Esplana. Thank you, ma'am, for watching. Also, si uh, Jo Garma Ledesma uh, from Tarlac. Uh, Afasinan, yes. Oh. And then, of course, uh, si Maria del Callao of BI. Oh, one of, one of our students, Del, yes. del Callao. Very D. active, yeah. D. God bless. Thank you, Del. Bless you, Dean. <laughs> so, well, like, ayan, like nefa. <laughs> <laughs> so we like to like, like uh, Dean Henry Tenede for joining us, and of course our viewers for watching. Uh, we'd like to thank also Ellie Laura Therapy for taking care of us, and of course uh, Jason Isaac for our photo shoots here on TNC. So mga kababayan, that has been Dean Henry Tenedero. We'd like to uh, give him a big applause and a big hug. <laughs> thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> We also want to thank all the teachers in the entire country for teaching our young, our young people. Don't get tired. Um, in, keep on inspiring our students. Um, sabi nga, this country is worth dying because of our, uh, of our country. So with that, we'd like to say good night. God bless everyone. Good night. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you too to your director, Director Chi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, see you again. Thank you.